everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a filming areas tour. I wanted to show you what it looks like in my studio, which we're in right now, as well as what it looks like in our sunroom where I tend to film my more chattier videos. So let's dive right in. All right, so I thought I'd start with the sunroom because that's where the bulk of my videos get filmed. This is what the room looks like when it's generally set up not for filming use, although usually those curtains are open. I just don't want to give away where I live, so they're closed for now. And because this is a sunroom, you can see that there's a lot of natural light that comes in, which is very helpful for filming. I do still use a ring light, which is necessary just to light up my entire face, but having all of this natural light is very handy. This room also doubles as a guest room for us as this uh, sofa is actually a sofa bed. So it's rather handy that we have a two bedroom condo, condo with a sunroom because then we can have people stay over without any issue. And that's largely in part because our studio, which is our second bedroom, which we'll get to later, um, houses all of our computer stuff. And really it's kind of like our studio, storage area, filming, computer, home base. So very handy that we can use that as an actual studio as opposed to a secondary bedroom. So because this is a white sofa, um, it stayed clean for a little while. And then over time, I just decided that I had to put a blanket over top of it. Otherwise, it was just going to be filthy all the time. So that stays on there pretty much 24-7. And to be honest, the cats end up sleeping on this sofa a lot. And because they're black cats, their fur gets everywhere and shows up so much on the white sofa. So much so, in fact, that they often um, rub against these curtains. And as you can see, there's little black cat hairs everywhere. So the filming area is actually shot from over here. As you can see, those are my two plants that usually appear in the background of my videos. So the angle is pretty much over here, just kind of zoomed in a little bit. I do pull the pillow away because even though it's pretty, there's just really no space for it in the frame. It would push me too far to the side and then it looks a little bit disjointed. And generally the curtains are pulled to the side when I'm filming to let more light in. And also I don't wanna have a candle that's burning right beside a curtain, cause you know, fire hazard. Okay, so if I pull back a little bit from here, you can see that I keep my tripod and light stand there all the time. I just find it's easier to keep it there. We don't generally use this room very much unless somebody's staying over or I'm filming in here. So I didn't see the point in like constantly packing them up. So when I am filming here, this is generally what happens. I end up closing these curtains over here so that I've got a plain backdrop, um, which just looks better because I don't necessarily want the back of the studio showing because that just looks pretty crappy. I take the pillow off, throw it to the other side. This whole blanket comes over and then I just end up sitting down right here. Of course, then I gotta get the tripod in place and the coffee table is in the way. So this has to move over there. And then I kind of set these up roughly about here-ish. So they do end up being quite close to me. And I'll pull the ring light from the studio, put it on the stand here, as well as put the camera that's currently filming on this tripod as well. And I'll shoot from here. I do find that I generally have to sit back quite a bit so that I kind of line up with the plants in the back and so that I'm enough in frame to show both the plants and a little bit of side over here. So I didn't set it up all exactly, I just wanted to plop it on the tripod and kind of give you an example of what this looks like. But this is generally how I'm filming. Like right now I feel like there's a little bit too much space over here. So I think I'd zoom in a little bit because you tend to cut off just the very top of your head. I don't really know why this has become a thing in YouTube, but I do find it looks better for framing overall. I find when there's too much of a gap up top of someone's head, like if I slink down here, like, I don't like the look of that. I don't think it's appealing to have this massive gap at the top of my head and show like nothing really. So generally when I'm trying to film things, I'm trying to cut off the very top of my head and kind of get enough of my torso in frame. I have changed this a lot over the years. I used to show a little bit more torso, but then I found like you couldn't see someone's makeup enough that way. So sometimes I kind of zoom myself in a little bit more and sometimes I'm a little bit more pulled back. And that can also largely depend on what kind of shirt I'm wearing. Like if I'm wearing a design that I wanna show you on the front, I'm definitely gonna zoom you out a little bit more so that you can see more of my torso. So that's how I film in the sunroom. Now let me take you into the studio and show you what that looks like and how I film there. 
So here's the studio that my husband and myself use both sort of for our computers and I use it for filming as well. And it's kind of hard to show this, but I will attempt to. But what we've done is bisected the room in two by putting one long computer desk down the whole thing and then sort of putting his uh, computer stuff on one side and mine on the other. I'm very happy to be using the second bedroom as a studio because for so many years we just had our computers in like the main room and I've kind of grown out of that phase in my life. I don't really want my computer in my bedroom or in the main room. I want it completely segregated into a different area. So we are so happy with this setup. Uh, and his area, I'll just show you very briefly, but I'm not gonna do a full tour because it's his side of the stuff. Um, he has a light table over there with some of his drafting and drawing and creative stuff. Um, and then we have a closet back here, which is just like seriously a utility closet. There is so much junk in there and just like boxes and boxes of cat litter. Oh, and if anybody is wondering about sort of the catwalk ramp, um, that is litter and a hole in the wall, that is literally a catwalk. Um, we, well, I say we, my husband built the whole thing. Uh, I gave him permission to do it, I guess you could say. Uh, we have always sort of had these catwalk things in some of our apartments and we've decided to do the same thing in the condo. This cat hole that goes through to the main room uh, is the latest installation and um, I got drunk one night and finally gave him permission to actually cut a hole through the wall into the main room to put that in and the cats honestly love it. They go through it all the time so I'm glad that worked out. Worked out. Okay, so moving on to my area. So this is the general gist of what it looks like, but let me go into everything in detail. So I have double monitors, as does my husband, and I, I honestly can't operate with a single monitor anymore. I'm starting to get to the point where I even want three because that's what I use at work, but two is what I have at home. These operate on a swivel mechanism at the back, uh, which is very handy because I need to move it out of the way in order to film with the ring light. So the ring light lights up all of my videos. It's the same one that I bring into the studio, um, into the sunroom when I'm filming out there. And when I wanted to light up my face in here, I have to move one of the monitors. So that's where the swivel hinge comes in. As you can see, I just swivel it out and then the ring light is free and clear to light up my entire face. This huge long desk, all of the pieces honestly are from Ikea and it's just really handy because I can have my computer stuff here but when I'm filming I can also set up all of my makeup stuff down here. I grab that um, mirror, put it in front of me and usually do my makeup that way and uh, as you can clearly see I do my nail polish right here as well. Okay, so the ring light is lighting up all of my videos, and if I swivel it around, it points onto this backdrop, which my husband sort of assembled with some pieces from Ikea. They must be some sort of a clothing rack that we ended up bolting into the wall. I think they were really inexpensive. I wanna say like under $5 for one of those rods, and as you can see, it just bolts directly into the wall. And the unit I forgot to show before, um, so I'm using a different camera later on, is this shelving unit here, which has our printer at the top, and then a bunch of stuff that I use for filming, and then um, just for hauling, really. So this shelf right here is where I put all the products that I've bought in the last month. So I just go in here and grab everything and then bring it out to the other room to film. And then down on the next two shelves are some backdrops that I have. So I just pull out whatever I need for the backdrop for that day and then just put it on the frame over there. And then going down a little bit, I've got like packing stuff if I'm doing a giveaway and then some boxes and bags down there. I just closed the curtain into the sunroom um, just because it was really blinding from behind. But uh, I wanted to show you the rest of how the setup works for this. So obviously I don't film with this leather computer chair in my videos because this sort of like appearance would not be that appealing and it hides a large chunk of the backdrop. So I end up moving my computer chair completely out of the way and then I grab one of these little Ikea chairs that is really inexpensive, but it just happens to be the perfect height for sitting at, obviously, the Ikea desk. So they were clearly designed to work together. So I end up sitting at this chair and it films directly onto me with the backdrop behind me. And then of course I just pull my chair up a little bit because the desk is a little bit closer to the actual ring light. 
Now in this room, I don't generally tend to keep my makeup just because I keep that in the bedroom and I do have uh, makeup collection tours if you're interested. I haven't done one this year because my setup really hasn't changed that much, but there is one from 2018 if you're interested. But what I do keep in this room is my bag of empties because it's garbage and I really just don't wanna keep that in another area of the condo. So I keep my empties back here. And then I've also got a bag of disappointing products. So there's a few in here right now, which I will be talking about in the video. That'll be forthcoming. I don't know when it's gonna be up. The other bag that I keep in here is generally products that I wanna declutter. And that just goes into this bag. And when this thing gets full, I just bring it to the office and my friends uh, and coworkers um, basically have a free for all and they get really excited. So it's empty right now because I just gave them a whole bunch of product, but I get really happy to give stuff to my coworkers. So if I pick up the camera and move you into position, you kind of get the idea of how this works if I was filming. Now granted, I'm holding the camera right now, so it's a little bit different, but you get the general idea of how it works out. Now obviously the lighting is a little bit different right now. It's very warm tone, very yellow. Generally, I turn on the ring light and that will make the lighting much more neutral, cool. So I'm gonna back you into frame here, plug you onto the base for the camera. Then if I turn on the ring light, this is generally how it ends up looking. So I, from here, I will zoom it in so that you can't see the nastiness behind me. And then that's how you get one of my tutorial videos or sometimes my reviews are in here. And that's how the studio works out. I think it's really cool. We managed to make so much work in this space in the second bedroom for both of us. And I'm really pleased with the end result. Ha, side note, I just realized, I just said that that was it with the normal lighting. I actually had it on the wrong light setting, so it would have looked a little bit more warm. When I am filming with the ring light, I do tend to use the fluorescent um, setting on my camera just because it color corrects for the fact that it's trying to make me a little bit more warm, I think, the camera is. I don't know a ton about cameras, so it can be a lot of trial and error for me, but the fluorescent lighting setting option, it does work for me when I'm filming in the studio. When I'm out in the main room, I have to use the automatic white balance because it counteracts with what is happening outside because the lighting changes continuously outside depending on where the sun is in the sky. So this is the color setting that would be accurate for this room. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. I love seeing these kinds of videos from other people because I'm always curious about other people's filming space. Because when you generally see just this, you have no idea what's going on around them. And I wanted to give you a peek into what my areas look like. I hope you found this interesting and entertaining. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.